Hey Reader fam, today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts, opinions, and feels on WAPA THE CALL! This video is being sponsored by Scholastic, but know that all my thoughts, opinions, and feels are my own. This is our Book Explosion Book of the Month for the month of September, and we've already had our live show, so I will leave a link down below to that recorded live show if you're interested in going and watching that. Now, I'm going to note that I knew very little about this book before going into it, and I kind of preferred that way of reading it. I really enjoyed not knowing too much about this story before going into it, so you might want to pick this book up and read it before for watching this review. But either way, you do you, honey boo boo. This story follows a girl by the name of Nessa who lives in this world where Ireland has been cut off from the rest of the world. Nobody can leave Ireland and nobody can get into Ireland. Nessa and the other teenagers in this world live their lives training for the call. The call is where you're thrust into the Greylands and this is a place where the fairies reside and you have a very rare chance of surviving your call because once the fairies get a hold of you, you're basically dead. So that's what this story is all about. It's super unique. I've never read a book like this one and I loved how original it was. It's dark, it's gruesome, and it's definitely on the terrifying side of things. This is not a world that anyone would ever want to live in, or would even want to send their worst enemies to. Like, who would want to live in a world where basically you're just raised to train in order to prepare for the call? But no matter what, the amount of training that you do, there's no way that you can fully prepare for the call. You spend your whole life training to survive, and you're not even sure that you're going to survive. I'll admit that I wasn't a massive fan of the writing style. I kind of thought that by the end of the story, I would have found myself enjoying it, but unfortunately, that never happened happened. The good thing though is that even though I had a distaste for the writing style, it didn't take away any of my enjoyment of the story. I still really enjoyed the story. The story itself is so vague and mysterious that once you start reading and you kind of find out what it's all about, you just get sucked into the story. It's so intriguing. I found that at the beginning it's really hard to know where the story is going to go and that's what made it so engrossing. You just have no idea what to expect. You don't know the direction of the story. You don't know what the outcome's gonna be and that's just what made me keep reading because I just had to find out what was going to happen by the end of the story. And I want to make it extra clear that this book is terrifying. Like, this is a horror novel. The things that happen in the Greylands are violent, bloody, gruesome, and the descriptions will send chills up and down your spine. This book really does not hold back from all the grotesque details. I was shocked by how dark and twisted this story got. Something that I did like about the writing style, I will say, is how we kind of see the different perspectives of different people throughout the story. So we're following several different journeys, and something that made that so much fun is that sometimes something shocking would happen in somebody's journey and their chapter would end and you'd have to wait several different chapters to find out what the outcome of that situation was and that just added such a nice suspense element to the story. The plot itself never had a dull moment. It's a pretty fast moving story and like I said it doesn't shy away from any of the gory details. We have a nice cast of characters. I will say that none of the characters are really that lovable but you kind of understand why they aren't. They spend their whole lives being raised to be these cutthroat kids. That way they're prepared when they have to face the call. So you kind of understand the situation that they're in and you respect them for what they're going through. But there are also characters that are just so easy to hate. Something else that I really loved was the representation of a disabled character. Our main character, Nessa, had faced polio and so her legs were disabled. She doesn't let that hold her back. She works twice as hard as everyone else does and she knows what she's capable of and she's so determined. And I just completely loved that about her character. She just never gave up. Now this book totally opens itself up for a sequel and I believe we're getting one so that's super super exciting. While this book does tie itself up nicely in the end, you can't help but leave it wanting more. There's definitely room for more stories in this world and I'm glad that we're getting a sequel. So those are all my thoughts, opinions, and feels on The Call. You guys should let me know down below if you have read this book and what you thought of it, or if you haven't read this book and you are planning to pick it up. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so click subscribe if you want to be notified for when I post new videos. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye to Hey Reader Fam, today I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts, opinions, and feels on the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children book to movie adaptation.